So we, we have to do a little update for um, for baby too. Yes. <coughs> All right, we are live actually. All right. Let's do that. Should we do this and here? And say hello everyone uh, this is Dr. Boz <laughs> yeah we are in the same screen and we have Dr. Barry here today hey guys uh, uh, we are at the Orlando Keto Summit and have really uh, been freezing our tails off inside so we came outside to not only promote that these gals have worked so hard uh, to get this conference going but um, really have done a great job of creating a connection uh, with several of the people here and really great thought leaders. Let's just do a couple of things that I want to make sure. Oh yeah, we've got good sound and I like to double check that everybody can see us. Uh, let's do, I want this to be pop out. Uh, here we go. All right, so thanks for tuning in for those of you that are here. And we are looking at your uh, comments over here on the side. So if you've got a couple of good questions, we'll take those as we get to the end of this. But I thought I'd take a minute to just check in with my friend, Dr. Barry, because uh, he's had some major life changes in the last I month. Have. <laughs> I have, we got a new puppy, <laughs> a new poodle, <laughs> and very excited about that. Oh, you mean the other. Yeah, there you oh, go. Oh yeah, we've got a new baby in the family, little Bonnie Blue, she's a month old now. Oh. Cute as a button, looks mm. just like her mother. Uh, you know what? There's nothing better than uh, reminding us uh, how old we are when you see these beautiful, perfect little beings uh, enter the world and say, dang, uh, I, I saw uh, you know, a picture of, of her the other day and thought, does the skin ever look that beautiful again? Only once. <laughs> right? Only once, yeah. <laughs> no, and how's, how's Nisha? Nisha's recovering well, doing mm. well, adjusting to being the mom of kids. Mm not just a one kid no. so that's a little adjustment but but otherwise she's doing great uh, Beckett loves his little sister gives her kisses every morning every yeah. night he's a good big brother it's it's amazing when you look at how well uh, that that change of personality happens with that single child to the next one and then you know that unit of a family really changes with that second child as well Absolutely. so congratulations and thank you you got any feedback for what it's like to, because this is the second baby while being keto, so yeah. how's yeah. the recovery go? Well, I love babies, uh, <laughs> and you know, I'm happy to have more. Nisha says no, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah. Um, no, I'm just kidding, Nisha. <laughs> yeah. So, the, the, Nisha's recovery with Bonnie was substantially better uh, than with Beckett, and she's bounced back better. She's almost back to her goal weight at a month. Wow, that's um, a, every woman says amen. Wow, yeah, feeling great and doing great. Bonnie is exclusively breastfed, which is carnivore. <laughs> yes. So she's a, a carnivore baby currently and probably will remain that as she gets older. Uh, and everybody's doing great, and we couldn't be happier. And um, we're gonna feed both of our babies proper human diets. That's so cool. No, honestly, the work you've been doing with uh, on the channel, but actually transitioning from what I think both uh, Dr. Barry and I have some common threads of the point of frustration where we both said I can't do this anymore I can't be this uh, this path anymore and maybe it was a therapeutic uh, uh, delivery of what was frustrating us got put in his book uh, lies my doctor told me and at the same time I had uh, really written down what uh, what impacted me to change my practice and that personal story of when my mother was fighting cancer but i also continue as our friendship has grown to see how much it continues to change in parallel paths where as much as we both have loved being part of a, a private practice and seeing patients one at a time just just sharing with how i mean watching you today in front of the the audience here at um, Keto Orlando Summit and knowing that there's not a person in that room that doesn't feel like they've had truly intimate life-changing conversations with you of which they haven't but this social media really has changed it and then knowing that there comes a point where you say I'm just not gonna see him one more at a time no matter how rewarding that was as a physician the relationships being you know a different level of intimacy and, and connectedness 
but that your return for what you're doing to help educate patients is so vast in the in the paths that we're both yeah. on but you at a much different scale yeah well i got you know i like to help people improve their health mm -hmm. that's my calling that's what i do and now i get to do that without having to file insurance and without having to deal with um the powers that be mm -hmm. i just help i just give people information if they choose to act on it great if, if they choose not to that's also great i'll be here when you need me uh, and so obviously we're impacting the health of lots of people mm -hmm. and I don't I'm not exhausted at the end of the day I think that's I'm not the other. beaten to a pulp at the end of the day I'm I'm still happy I, 8 a.m. I'm on Twitter trying to teach somebody something you know <laughs> I love what I'm doing now whereas before it was a it was a grind it was drudgery and some days some days it was awesome some days it was not so awesome yeah right. kind of grind you down to the bone right I remember having the spirit of what medicine was supposed to be and then being about I don't know year five in practice going how is this possibly sustainable mm -hmm. how, how do you find yep. the way and then to look around at, and 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 study not only my health that was being impacted but I mean have you ever been to a dentist with no teeth right <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't, I would, or with, with janky teeth. I would be like, yeah, I think I'm going to find another dentist. Uh, I found that increasingly, in the before the clinic fire, that the insurance input into how I practice medicine was actually making me practice less good medicine. It's real. Mm -hmm. And the, the Medicare guidelines and the Medicaid guidelines and the TenCare guidelines, they were actually making me a less good doctor. It's real, and, and I, I didn't have the time mm -hmm. to spend with patients. Some patients are happy if you're in and out in five minutes. They love that because they're busy. Other patients are like, "No, I've got some questions for you," and I'm like, "I got ten people waiting. I've got to go. I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. You'll have to come back and see me in a couple of weeks." Right. That's terrible. It it it, it tastes terrible coming out of my mouth. Right. They didn't like it. I didn't like it. But now. I've got these evergreen videos on YouTube. Yes. Uh, in fact, I remember thinking the first reason I made a video for you YouTube was I am so tired of explaining this thing Same in thing, a yeah. tiny little window where it does not explain what I'm trying to get you to. So I skip like the, the meat of what I was trying to teach them. And finally, I said, forget it. I'm recording this. It's yeah. going to take you an hour. I'm going to have a quiz at the end that says if you don't know the answers to these little questions, kind of like. Easter eggs, they're not really about the content, it's did you watch it to know yeah. that, and that changed everything about, okay, now we can talk about fixing your sleep because you've gone through the basic rules. Right. And I think that and was And people can watch it two times. Yes. They can watch it three times. They can, so they can rewind it. And in the office setting, they can't. You, they can't mm -hmm. say, hey, repeat everything you just said again. Oh, right. Now repeat it for a third time. That's not going to work. But if it's on YouTube, they can literally be up at 2 a.m. because mm -hmm. they can't sleep and they can watch that video three times right? and replay the sections that they didn't understand. So it gives, I think it empowers the patient. A amen. To, to yeah. just have a, a level of knowledge that they would have never gotten from me in the clinic setting. Yeah, w w the other part of that, uh, you know, danger of, you know, putting yourself out there was, well, what if I misspeak or what if I change my mind? And I've had, you know, some pushback saying, do you think anything you said at the beginning of keto is no longer what you say anymore. I'm like, well, of course. Sure. <laughs> I mean, that's where you do change things. But, uh, you know, I, I was talking with Dave Feldman a, a little bit ago saying, I, our. Yeah, I think it's about to rain. <laughs> <laughs> that's classic. Yeah, I love it. Florida, it oh. rains. Well, what should we do? Should yeah, we? well, you should probably end this. Let, 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 I don't want to here, here's the best part. Um, here's Dr. Ken Berry. Here's, uh, I'm Dr. Boz. Thanks for you guys tuning in. We're about to get rained out, but it was just enough to say we are here to continue to help educating you and continue. I'm not going to stop. Are you going to stop? I'm not stopping. I'm not going to stop. Way better path than I was on. Yes. Thanks, everybody. We'll, we'll tune in. Um,